Greetings everyone, Battery H here. Welcome to another episode of This Isn't Sparta. As we help Gorgo and the Greeks take on the world. Uh, we're not doing too badly in working on our cultural victory. We've got uh, some strategic resources and currently in a war still with Samaria. We're going to teach them a lesson, I think, and hopefully get them to sue for peace. The Norwegians aren't very happy with us. Uh, obviously, the... Uh, the um, Egyptians are, are allied with us. The uh, Chinese are happy with us. Uh, Gandhi isn't real friendly, but, you know, he just sued for peace. So we gave it to him, but didn't mean we had to be happy about it, did it? <laughs> so let's pick up and see where everybody's going to leave off as we start to move our forces onward. China sent an envoy to Stockholm. And you can see that China's working obviously on a religious victory because they're trying to support us. Okay, oh, we get another great person. And this is a great scientist. Okay, triggers the Eureka moment for three random technologies from the Renaissance or Industrial Era. Emilia Duchat. Uh... Chatelet, okay. Uh, what about this one? Uh, born in Paris in 1706 to a well-connected noble family. The Baron was a favorite of Louis XIV. Uh, her father was, at any rate. Had uh, every privilege a little girl could want. Uh, little is known about early education. Likely whatever was appropriate for girls. But when she turned 18, she arranged... Uh, his father... Her father arranged for... His daughter to marry in one of the oldest bloodlines in Lorraine. Okay. Uh, brought prestige, but little else. For the first years of the marriage, the new Marquins lived in a very traditional life, managed the household, and Simura bore a daughter and two sons. And when appropriate, enjoyed all the pleasures of Paris. In 1733, when she was again in Simura pregnant with her second son, that Emile became interested in mathematics. The Marquise took up a uh, serious study of Descartes' analytical geometry, began writing Newton's, uh, began translating Newton's Principia, adding her own commentary, and including completion of the expansion of some of the Brit's key hypotheses. Upon publication, the latter became the definitive edition across Europe. For the rest of the 1730s and 40s, she continued to read, study, and write, even while caring for her husband, children, and several lovers. Well, she was a busy woman. <laughs> her writings on optics, grammar, and a critical commentary on the Old and New Testaments were almost as famous as her scandalous affairs. Among these, Voltaire, who wrote to Frederick II of Prussia that she was, quote, a, that she was, quote, a great man whose only fault was being a woman. Wow. <laughs> and the mathematician, uh, de Marputis, and the philosopher, uh, de la Metri, okay, her last lover, the soldier poet Saint Lambert, was the father to her last child. She died in 1749, a week after giving birth. There were some remarkable women during that period. Uh, we're going to get the Eureka moment for three bits, though. That's always a good sign. We've produced another great work, The Last Judgment. Okay, so we're going to view our great works here. Okay, so we do not have the theming bonus yet because we're going to have to get more religious work. Um, Okay, so in nine turn, you know, in nine turns, we'll be able to move this over to the bank, and work it a little differently. So we're going to want to trade one, we're going to want to keep one, and we're going to want to move one. I think that's a good sign. Unit needs orders. Okay, this is our, this is Shakespeare, and he can do another great writing bit. To be or not to be. 
Ah, uh, Hamlet. Well, it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and, by opposing, end them. Okay, so that gives us two items there. Uh, we don't have theming, so we're going to have to move him to Asphyxius for the Great Library there, where we can move him for his last work, I think. I think he's got one more. Maybe not. He may be done. <laughs> okay, the silent snipers are... And we can now claim her uh, effect here. So new scientific is So steam power, Eureka moment. Industrialization, Eureka moment. And military science, Eureka moment. So what does that do for us in the sciences? Well, as we scroll way to the right here. Siege tactics are... But uh, four turns. Okay, so we've got a Eureka moment there. Uh, scientific theory will make it to six turns. Uh, that'll let us build Oxford University if we want. And steam power up here, which is nice to have with the industrialization. We've got that as well. We've bypassed military tactics. Um, because I really don't see us using the pikemen. <laughs> Uh, we may come back and grab it at some point here. Replaceable parts, which are nice to have. So we've got some things that we can uh, we can start to do that will make life uh, a little bit easier for us. What we're looking eventually to get here, we've got electricity, aluminum, advanced flight. The broadcast center, which is a great thing. Um, more culture, more more citizens, great artists, those sorts of things. Uh, seaside resort and radio. So eventually we're going to want to pick up that. So radio is going to be meaning going this industrialization top flight, which means picking up square rigging. That'll be next. Okay, let's continue on as we work our way... See, he's trying to, he is really trying to work that up, isn't he? I think what we need to do, perhaps, is... See, missionaries cannot initiate faith uh, combat, but apostles can. And that's what we're going to want, because we need to start start mowing down some of these folks, I guess you could say. Okay, next turn. unit needs orders. Our builder here. Our builder needs some orders. We've got cocoa over there. We don't have a plantation on which would be useful to have, I think. Oh, relax, sunshine. How can you let your theologian folks run over to my home? Those silly, silly Chinese. Oh. 
Okay, so our last artist, our last art work. Okay, so Bosch's last arc, and we've got it in the art museum. So we've got all three items here. So eventually we're going to move these over, but in the meantime, we're picking up the tourism and culture from all of them. And as we take a look at our culture toward culture victory, we've picked up nine tourists. And if we look here, we're producing 83 culture per turn and 95 tourism per turn, far outweighing any kind of domestic culture and tourism rates they could produce on their own. So we will, if left unchecked, win this bit, but who is available for, ah, our apostle is available for upgrade. So we can become a proselytizer, a translator, or an orator. I think we're going to do the orator bit. Wow. They are really going hard on Sparta, aren't they? So I've got to keep keep working that. They've got four of four of our twelve uh, into Taoism as opposed to eight. So we've, we're still doubling them, but I can see we're going to have to get on the stick here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, looky there. How's our city-states looking right now? Um, Geneva wants... They all want religious conversion, and that's nice. I'd love to be able to help them, but... Unfortunately, I can't do that. Uh, at 150... Uh, at 150 Envoy points, we currently have 29.6. We'll get two more. We're gaining 7.2 a turn. I think we're going to end up at war with these guys. My navy is weak. Well, I'm sorry. I know. You're welcome. Your large city is getting overcrowded. It's hard to start planning for sub suburbs. Okay, plan towards urbanization. That's nice. Uh, choose production here. Corinth. Um, we could build an Acropolis, which would also continue to help us in our work. Uh, a university would also continue to give us more citizenry. Um, our holy site can't do any more 16 terms, 13 terms. It would actually take us less time to build the Acropolis. Let's see what kind of bonus positions we could get off of that. So it'd be two for that spot there. Mind you, we don't own that spot, but... Oh, it has to be on the hills, that's right. Need more amenities. Sparta needs more amenities to grow two more housing. Okay, so Sparta is going to need some serious help here, I think. Um, I think we're going to build a university instead.
This unit needs orders. Oh yes, we're getting you off the coast, son. Okay, we can't upgrade them. They would require uh, in friendly territory and whatnot, but... As you can see, we're now starting to make some progress. <gasps> wow, they've taken over in a hurry, haven't they? Okay. Doing some holy warrioring. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, we're going to have to work on getting some more religion. <laughs> oh, good lord, they're, they're running around us now, aren't they? Yeah, majority of China are now following Taoism. Ooh, they're trying to convert us, people. We need more... Religious defenses. Okay, we are now uh, ready to hold your findings. Time is coming. The development of natural history is now complete, which means we can now build. Had I been present at the creation, I would have given some useful hints for the better ordering of the universe. <laughs> so we can now build a zoo. To amen one amenity from entertainment. That would be helpful in Sparta. Uh, antiquity sites. We can do resources. We can now build the hermitage. Um, all those wonderful sorts of things. So change policies. culture from the theater district. I think we need to worry about getting some more religious troops. Um, I don't think we can drop that either. It's time to open up the civics tree and take a look where we're at. So we could build the naval tradition, get another envoy quickly, I suppose. That gives us three turns. Reformed church is something we can use. Real words of religion. I think we're going to get the reformed church so we can get the addition, double up the faith. So that we can build enough uh, things to... Yeah, our holy sites are not doing so holy, are they? The Bolshoi Theater would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, medieval walls, they're also saying, hey, you know, build these. Holy Site Prayers, district base which provides faith every turn and great profit points once finished. Uh, base cost is 25 production. Uh, but I don't need great f profit points, obviously. Um, but the additional... The additional bits there might not be a bad idea. Um... Let's see, Mikhail. 
floodplains or marsh? How does this not have a floodplain site? that up because for I thought ah uh, no there okay so no no floodplain site there I guess eh rainforest places okay so I guess the best we can hope for here The only place you could build the Bolshoi is right on top of our major grain producing site. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. Not there in any event. Um... Building the Hermitage. Sorry about this taking so long. Uh, great work of art. Great work of artist slots. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to build an archaeologist right now and hang on to him. Meanwhile, up in Rhodes. Meanwhile, in Rhodes. Unfortunately, there's going to be no easy site for a holy campus. And uh, for a campus spot. And there's barbarians at our gates. Um... Send an envoy. Where where should we send our next envoy? Two more faith in the capital. Again, the faith would seem to be uh, an early point here. Hmm. However, I'm not going to get that status with either of these guys uh, for quite a while. Uh, Fifteen percent science whenever you are not at war with any civilization. Geneva would be good to have here in a little bit. Amsterdam. One gold for each luxury resource. Well, that's nice. It's not overly... Look at that. I think we're going to move up to three and then gain our science.
The more siege towers we have, the better off we are, I think. We're just going to sit out here in the ocean and heal up a little bit. <laughs> uh, we got time to do one more turn, I think, before we call it an episode. China Apostles are in the Pilgrim promotion. Uh, that's not good. All the best romances bloom in the midst of a good siege. <laughs> when you're trapped with everybody else, the occupied unit receives four defense strength automatically, gains two turns of fortification, Renaissance walls. Uh, build your outer defenses to the highest possible level. Okay, let's take a look and focus our research here. Uh, I said we were going to end up needing to go to industrialization so we can get to radio. Although steel would be nice as well. Fortunately, that's eight turns. Eww. Now let's do it. Let's go whole hog here, folks. like an idiot. stand here <sighs> wow okay we're gonna need to heal this bad boy a little bit move him back into place oh no that's because we have a swordsman okay that's cool so let's move him out into a position where he can do some damage next turn Okay, so now he wants uh, some cocoa, which we have two of, in return for open borders. Um, yeah, let's do that. Because better traders make for better neighbors. He may be unfriendly, but he's less likely to start another war with us while we trade with him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to end it right here. I want to thank everybody for coming out for this episode of This Isn't Sparta. Uh, next time, I think we're going to be taking it to the big, bad Sumerians, or at least pillaging and making their lives holy heck. <clears throat> Speaking of holy heck, we have to worry about the Chinese some more. That's good, but uh, it'll keep us on our toes. Obviously, in the religious victory, China is leading by far, even though we're producing more faith per turn than they are. 
Uh, in the culture victory, which is really where I think we're headed, we're leading that. We currently have 14 out of the necessary 32 tourists, so we're not all that far away from a victory, folks. That's right, we're gonna, I think we're gonna crush these folks here sooner rather than later. So, <clears throat> thank you again, everybody that comes, and I appreciate it. The, uh, to uh, like a video, to subscribe, makes more difference than you can possibly know. I appreciate all of you folks that do that. Links to my Twitter and Twitcher accounts are in the description below. Have a great day, everybody. Go make some history.